Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. So we finally have it. Vitalik Buterin and Ethereum developers are finally focusing on congestion fees as they have spiked over 600% in one month. There's not a lot that goes up 600% in one month. Not a lot indeed. So Ethereum developers are turning their focus back to current version of Ethereum network after months of focus on, grow, uh, on the upcoming Ethereum 2.0 release to address exponential fee growth. About damn time because Vitalik actually has said that it does threaten the network security and obviously no one really wants to use a network that has insane fees, obviously. The surge in fees is being driven by explosive popularity of DeFi applications that are predominantly built on Ethereum. Average network fees reach $15 on Wednesday, up 660% from a $2 a month ago. Ethereum's median fees also spiked nearly 900% over the same period, reaching $8.95. But that's just like transaction fees. If you actually look at Uniswap, they're like $50, $60. And like some of the DeFi fees run in the hundreds of dollars. We just got reported that a Chainlink ping some, sometimes would actually cost like $500. Now that's, that's shared across a lot of the users of the network, not specifically. But these fees for some of these smart contracts and applications are absolutely horrendous, they're ridiculous, and they're unsustainable for any real use. In a bid to am ameliorate soaring fees, Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin released his Ethereum improvement proposal, EIP-2929 Tuesday, that proposes making certain heavy contracts more expensive by a factor of three. Contracts affected would be those that update the Ethereum state, including some applications. So there's a proposal that makes certain heavy contracts more expensive, I guess less people would actually use them and that would actually reduce the congestion. This repricing proposal could break some smart contracts already operating on Ethereum. That's really bad. Butrin wrote, he added that developers have had years of warning about potential changes. Approving the proposal, however, requires consensus from the Ethereum community, which we know they've had problems getting consensus from, a process that can take weeks or months. So the fees might actually be there or might even increase as more people try to jump into DeFi. Other broad brush scaling solutions like EIP-1559 or sharding remain on the distant horizon as well. So none of these proposals have actually gone through. It, it has to be like, you know, democratically done. So this could actually take a very long time and we're going to have to live with these fees. But I really do think sometimes they should actually do like an emergency session, especially if it basically compromises the, the security of the entire network or if it just becomes unusable, because Uniswap right now, besides for large whales, is completely and utterly unusable. For now, individual users need to incorporate their own individual scaling solutions, said Hendrik Hasva, a founder of staking firm Siritus Onit, in an email with Coindesk. I think the pain is now big enough to push people to move quicker with layer two solutions. The problem with layer two is actually getting adoption, but maybe this onus will actually push people to layer two. I really don't see it. I think people are going to be just like stumbling around. I really do think this is going to actually help the other mainnets gain on Ethereum. Tether, for example, announced its intention to explore ZK rollups for settling Tether transactions on the Ethereum blockchain Tuesday. Tether's also said they're going to use OMG. So this could actually be a golden time for layer two solutions, but it also is a very, very painful time for Ethereum. It could also be a golden time for things like Cardano, uh, Polkadot, Tezos, Zilliqa, and all those blockchains that are actually trying to steal DeFi away from Ethereum, because if they can run DeFi on their network without actually having to rely on Ethereum, then that could be a big win for those, because people will actually move over to the cheaper network sooner or later, especially if they establish somewhat of a DeFi system. So that's kind of the news for today. They are proposing a uh, proposal to uh, kill congestion. There's already two proposals out there, and if you're interested in Ethereum network, and, you're, and you have the power to vote, you might want to vote, hurry up and vote on some of these proposals to actually reduce the congestion because that is going to hurt Ethereum's development in the future going forward. It actually might make some people switch over from Ethereum. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.